we going to help UPSC, SPSC, NET students, and also all those who are going to prepare for any competitive examination. You must be knowing that in any competitive examination, you are bound to write some essay. You need to face interview in that which you know you require different opinion, you require different perspectives, different dimension about societies on major social issues, and that actually can stem out for your understanding of sociology. However, in this particular channel, we are going to reflect broadly and specifically on UPSC. So the channel is like, you know, what we are going to understand. It, you know, we will discuss that what type of syllabus we have in UPSC and what discussion should be made, how if paper one is very much connected to paper two, what is paper two, what we are going to study in paper two. So basically, if we take sociology and, you know, the syllabus of UPSC, the reason why I'm taking uh, UPSC syllabus and not any other things, because I think, uh, if we prepare for UPSC and the syllabus, if you'll see, okay, that I will show you in a while, you broadly cover most of the important thinkers. You also cover, you know, different relationship which are human beings as in, in on like individual level and also at macro level shared with different situations. So that is broadly covered in this. And, you know, we actually have to have understanding of different dimensions that is also going to be covered if we take UBAC status. Okay, that's really going to give a strong base for each and every subject. Why? That we are going to discuss now. So, as I said, that in in this channel, there are different going. They, we have different uh, viewers who can take good help from this content. Okay, from this channel. So now, the first thing which I should say. Why sociology and for whom? However, like, you know, right now, I just told that, you know, these are the sections who can take help. But of course, it's going to help also for those who are seeking knowledge, who are engaged, constantly engaged in critical thinking. What is actually sociology? If I have to define, you will see a different opinion, plethora of opinions. You just start sociology. Somebody would say that sociology is a study of society. And then some will say that it is a scientific study of society. Some will say that we study social behavior, social interaction. We study, you know, diverse social groups. So, you know, it's really confusing. And one thing I personally believe that what sociology offers everyone, every human species, every human being do have certain understanding of their surroundings. That makes sociology easy. At the same time, it makes it very difficult. So one of the channel, where, uh, like you know, one of the like challenge which we see of society is to see that how sociology offers to us and how it's been defined. Okay, now it's fine. And uh, as I was saying, that what actually sociology is. So I have just told that there are different uh, thinking, but if I'll explain. The definition of sociology is very easy. Actually, you need to understand it with one example. When you're walking on the street, let's just say you are walking um, in the street of USA. Okay. So you, what you will see, or you're just walking towards your walk. While you're walking, you will observe different people engage in different types of activities. Somebody would you would see somebody is like you know driving a car in a rush, somebody is crying, somebody is smiling, somebody is doing that. And while you see them, you will also have some notions about them. They belong to a higher class. If somebody is like you know traveling in Lumis, like you know, in smart cities and uh, like you know, Land Rovers or such such big luxurious car, you might probably feel that okay, this particular person is belong to rich class, or you will see beggars, or you will see any other group, but you definitely going to have some sort of assumption about these people you will see. So first of all, I think one part which I'm trying to give you by this example, it's of your micro understanding of different individuals that you will see. Okay, so if you if you just, you know, climb up to some building, like, you know, you just climb up and you go to the uh, highest floor, like, you know, the, like the top of that building, what you will see, if you will see down, you will no longer going to see different faces, you know, you're not going to see uh, people around. You're not going to understand that what they are background because you'll not be able to see anyone. So larger things you will see. And what you are going to see in that, of course, you're going to see some sort of pattern. You will see structure. Okay. So, so 
sociology actually gives us understanding of micro perspectives of micro things and also things which we see at larger the pattern of different society and on that pattern every society works if i have to give you know etymological understanding of sociology it talks about that the understanding of our social world needs to be done on the basis of scientific analysis it has to be rational and when i'm saying it has to be scientific and rational that means that whatsoever you are making theory it should have some scientific base you must have data to prove that it cannot be because you feel that in today's scenario marriage system in india is disintegrating it's like declining you can't simply say on individual experiences okay let me just give you a more example on that my particular experience for instance if i say that i believe there is high number of drop dropout rates in india or let me more, be more specific in urban setting so if i say that me my cousin and some neighbors they we are not going to school anymore so these are you know we don't feel like sociology is not interested in that but if this number increase to 50% let's just say then it's a matter of a problem to a sociologist it cannot be that 50% population of any country is not studying or there is a high rate of dropouts if i say that i am not getting enough nutrition so maybe i have some particular personal reason for that but if i say that 70 to 80% females have low level of nutrient in like you know values then it's a problem this is why sirit mill have said that actually we need to think you know we need to have understanding of imagination the sociological imagination is a book in which he is saying that there is a difference between a personal issues and a public issues let's say i say that because of some war like situation in india for instance what is happening in ukraine or in like you know in russia so i would say that now i am not like you know let's just say that now the employment opportunities in india get decreased and if it is somehow related with the war which is happening in russia and because of that my job is now being limited and there is so much of competition it cannot be a problem of my individually so there is a problem associated from a macro level so personal trouble more or less is associated with public issues on the contrary people often say that you are being lazy you do not want to work and maybe females are less ambitious if a common sense understanding one would apply it is all correct there is no problem in that but this is what sirit mills is saying that we need to have sociological imagination Sigmund Bauman is another, I would say, philosopher. I have a problem to say and you know to count or to give a uh, title of sociologist because for me, a person who is studying sociology, a person who is studying society, they are a philosopher, they are sociological, you know, I mean, soci sociologists, they are political scientists, they are studying everything. And today I am going to also explain that why actually whosoever is studying sociology, they are going to have glimpse and very good understanding of all the other academics or disciplines of the subject. so as zigmund bauman is saying that we need to think sociologically thinking sociologically means that if you are think that you know i am speaking really nice i have a good subject matter i look nice i have a good principles i am not a product of just one day okay so what made me today what i am that actually we need to think in a sociological manner that is sociology to see things beyond its appearance so at appearance is believe that females are less ambitious but why are like that if we take up history there are myriad of examples i can give so when french revolution were happening and the declaration of rights were being written down 
Okay, so th there was a particular group who were saying that we must have liberty, equality, fraternity, and whatnot. So there was a female Olympian who said that it should be the declaration rights of men and women. Okay, so we need to think back to understand current scenario. That is what actually I would say largely a sociology is to think critically to think what we cannot see from a common man understanding. Okay, so that is what makes us critical to have critical understanding and why I'm saying that sociology is actually everything. Recently, there is a mathematician of US who won some very uh, renowned prize for mathematics, you know, for his achievement. He says that actually mathematics helps him to become critical. He knows that there are some problems and to solve that problem, he needs to apply different methods, different formulas, different perspectives. That is what actually sociology is also doing. So sociology is not at all any rigid type of subject. It actually gives you, it's an approach. The right term, it's a perspective to see things around us, not in a regular state manner, but with dimension. Okay, so this is what I would say that sociology is this. So I think it gives a brief understanding of the subject, what sociology is. And as I said that I would be taking UBSC syllabus and I would be like, you know, every uh, every week, whenever I'm going to make, uh, like, you know, this video, I'm going to tell, I'm going to take one topic and then I would be telling you a brief outline of that particular topic. Okay, so that is going to give a foundation to your preparation. And yes, indeed, this particular channel is going to help, as I said earlier, uh, while, uh, like, you know, starting this lecture that those who are preparing for UPSC, broadly that's going to help them. And those who want to write a good essay in essay writing, and you know, if there's some ethical uh, things which is involved in almost in all, like you know, almost all, every part of, uh, you know, competitive examination, this channel is also going to help them too. So uh, let's just uh, go on with now the lecture. As I said that, there is one, one very frequently asked question among UPSC students or aspirants, I would say, that why one should take sociology? I think the answer is, let me just show you the planner and maybe that will help you to understand it better. So this is the planner which I, like, you know, gives and I ask my aspirants and any students who are preparing for any competitive examination, as again I said, that you need to understand that for instance, there's one particular topic in sociology paper one, that scope, which discuss scope and sociology relationship with other social sciences. So if I tell you this, scope of sociology, as I said, that it try to understand what we need to study in sociology. As I said, that it study micro and macro perspectives or macro phenomena. Okay, so we need to understand social institutions. So what is social institutions? It can be healthcare, your industries, religion, politics, economical institution, your culture, diverse culture, and what not. Sociology so far has not left any area in which they have not conducted their research. Because everything is a part and interest to sociologists, okay? It has a clear cut, needed interdependence with other, not only with the social sciences subjects, but also with physics, with natural science subjects, chemistry and all. So whom we are making exploration, whom we are doing experimentation, and who are the people who are doing this experiment? I mean, gravity is gravity, who has given that, right? We need to understand all this, why Galileo has like, you know, have to after even say that it is actually, you know, the earth which revolves and not sun at that point of time, why it was being rejected by church and why the Aristotle, you know, thinking and understanding was actually dominated Western society and everywhere. So we ask such question, right? So it is related with everything, almost everything. When Socrates is talking about in Athens about the democracy that, you know, justice is about not only for majority people, but it's also about minority. 
and when he executed and when he like you know said that it's good to take a death instead of like you know going uh, and uh, escaping away and then the plateau where actually famous is here is in his books in his various books one of the book is republic or we have imnul kant or we have albert uh, you know albertus magnus these thinkers are just actually talking about the society which is like actually you know has based the understanding of today's world so as i said that the subject matter is actually related with everything so the political institution right now if we talk about democracy or if we talk about different types of governments like you know direct democracy indirect democracy we have presidential form of government we have parliamentary form of government how and where this institution have evolved so sociology answers each and every you know parameters of such questions because it is engaged in critical thinking right so as i said you need to see that sociology is very much related with history so when you are for instance you are writing an essay it is always advisable that you must write a historical perspective of that particular topic let us say if a question come on gender empowerment so you must know the history of female why and how feminism have come up in the world what is the nature of patriarchy if patriarchy is the reality so what is matriarchal societies which we see if patriarchy and matriarchy you know is other society which is the reality of society so what about tribal people what about indigenous people who do not believe in institution of marriage and they are really very happy i mean you know there is no power game right so we do have thinkers like you know we have edward kelleher we have george eliot howard you know we have harvard spencer so there is a very famous uh, thing and which actually upsc has also has asked that sociology without history is fruitless and history without sociology is fruitless this is one of the question which have came up and i will show you in a while also for example we have harvard spencer harvard spencer is a biologist but he is widely read you know in sociology because he had taken up the theory of charles darwin evolution of society then we have august comte who is being considered as founding father of sociology and all the thinker who has related and who have seen society from a historical perspective and then we have the relationship with economics if i'll say about adam smith if i say about karl marx karl marx theory is so famous and his contribution is being actually evaluated on the contribution of albert einstein emile durkheim zimmel today the basis of postmodern society is capitalism capitalism is actually a base of other ideology like communalism socialism and we are i mean still i i i think that who karl marx was was the economist was the sociologist was the political philosopher who he was so try to see things from a broader perspective do not limit your thinking this is one of the issues which i personally believe it's going on that people think that if you are reading history so these are the books which is going to be enough and let's just complete the us paper you the only one thing which can help you to crack this exam is to have multidisciplinary approach you need to have interconnection and that's what sociology is doing so why not to take up you know a subject which is giving you whatever you are going to prepare if you are taking political science like in gs if you are taking history if you are taking economics already you have a good understanding in your examination of course we are i mean those who are preparing for any like you know for spsc or for upsc or for net all this thinker this perspective become really important for all of us right so we also have a time limitation the syllabus of you know sociology is very it's not that broad it's narrow and it become narrow because it has ability to connect itself with other discipline okay so this is what i would say then sociology is very much related with political science we have you know thomas hobbes we have you know uh, we have various political scientists who have given social contract theories right so rousseau law separation of powers how it has come up who has spoke about this political revolutions we need to read out okay what was why napoleon were what he was doing during french revolution why you know there was a we all know that in french there was a three class system in the first there was a, a you know this clergy people this noble people and then there was uh, like you know this king monarch and then in the third stage there are big merchants and service providers and everyone club together and then there is a clash between these two classes three classes that we have to understand and that is being covered in sociology and political science so as with anthropology and psychology and with other subjects too okay so if i just talk about 
and i think i have just given the conceptual understanding of the discipline that what sociology is okay so let me just uh, understand outcome of the subject i have already told you that it is critical in nature it helps you to formulate various perspective you can have opinion so what basically when you like you know face any interview people your panelists are going to ask you some question which is related to your environment in which you are living it can be of international interest it can be of you know national interest so basically they are going how you are going to speak about that so when you are speaking any answer you should refer to thinkers even if you are saying that you personally believe that in rural development female has to have larger say you need to say it with fact and how that fact can come up you need to refer to the studies to the reports of like you know of different departments different governmental departments and for that you must have good understanding you must read you have to increase knowledge base when you are increasing knowledge base you need to correlate the subject matter and in this way sociology becomes integral the paper 2 which you will see after having understanding of paper 1 you just need to apply your current affairs to that section last year two question have come up on migration on you know the pandemic situation what had happened to the migrant laborers everyone knew that but then you need to think it it in a sociological manner so half of your preparation for your upsc becomes so easy paper 2 is all about application of current affairs in sociological manner that's it essay show me any essay of any year in upsc and i can show you the relevance of sociology in that topic take any essay some question directly coming out of sociology like you know what are the different how uh, the culture and civilization or technology development gender none not not a single topic can be you know cannot be covered i would say uh, up like you know is beyond the syllabus or the scope of sociology if it is helping you in paper you know essay paper 250 marks so i would say so take essay 250 paper 1 again it will help you in 250 marks like you know i mean that 250 marks and then gs paper 1 i said paper 2 paper 3 you will definitely going to have some questions which you need to see show the impact and the relevance on society and paper 4 completely it's about philosopher ethics situation you need you get case studies that in particular situation what you will do so in that what you have to do you have to visualize yourself in that situation so if you have a diverse understanding of vulnerable sections of society that actually sociology gives you that actually sociology offers you that okay i rural rural setting in india rural people you know behaved in this manner urban people behave in this manner social integration is really 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 high among the rural and it is low uh, in urban societies and the tribal people have a different you know uh, uh, culture so they have a problem of isolation so all the, everything you have already been studied in sociology while covering the paper 1 and paper 2 so you know you will have different perspective you can actually have can create empathy for these people and then you can rightly put yourself in different situation and you can answer that so ethics and then your interview again is 250 words i mean sorry 250 marks and also so i think and your option so if i just talk in this manner and uh, you know if i be more specific let me just count almost everything is involved in sociology okay so let's just say fa 250 paper 1 250 s1 i said 2 3 something it will definitely going to help if not completely you have to add dimension with related to any policies any laws which have come that come with respect to i mean in fact this year a question which came in political science and also i think in anthropology or in sociology it was almost same okay 250 4 right so your if you take is optional 1 optional 2 and paper 1 and paper 2 and then it's like interview so you can see yourself that everywhere 
it is going to help you. Okay, so you can just calculation, you must be knowing that how much is this. So let's just say that it is very much relevant for your UPSC preparation. So why entering into the subject is difficult? Because you people have preconceived notion. Okay. And you sometimes you follow blindly what people what other people say that you should take technology only if you are interested. And sometimes, you know, one thing I would say that whensoever you take any optional, you this is not a static subject. You have not been studying from class one. So it will take a while. You are, this is a new subject for you. How doesn't matter how easy it seems to you. Doesn't matter what you believe that marriage is there, religion is there, politics is there, does not matter. You need to have a sociological understanding. That is why, you know, UPC's parents and others, you know, I mean, specifically UPC's parents do good in paper one and do not really good in paper two because they just write a very generic answer on paper two. For example, if a caste and politics come, everyone knows that, but they do not write in a sociological manner. And sociological manner can only come if you are referring to sociologists, thinkers, philosophers, and then you are putting it up. Okay, so take that. So there are various myths, facts I've just told that people say it's very easy and they take it. No, it's not that easy. You need to put efforts. You need to understand concepts. Yes, after understanding concepts, and I can guarantee, I'll just show the syllabus. After that, you know, after your topic four, it's become really easy. But it depends that how much, you know, in how much efforts also you are putting it up. So the book list, which I would say for sociology people, just take one book, Principles of Sociology with an Introduction to Sociological Thought. CN Shankar Rao and the PDF material actually really helps to understand different concepts. And paper two, I would say Indian Society Continuity and Change by Nadim Hasnan and then the reference material by me. So this is the syllabus and I'm not going to tell you each and everything on the syllabus, but you know, it. Uh, that we are going to like you know discuss in coming lectures for example i would be covering sociology the discipline so what needs to be done how you need to cover uh, modernity and social changes in europe and, in the, uh, and the emergence of sociology for example this scope of subject and comparison relationship with the social other sciences so i would be like you know telling you with this sort of planner okay so here you must understand that what are the objectives to understand for example for this particular topic okay scope of the subject and comparison with other social sciences what you have to do is that you need to see that what is the scope of subject that we need to analyze sociology from a synthetic school that is it says that sociology needs to have a broader scope so we must study everything because in society everything includes so we should understand what is macro and micro understanding of social institutions we need to uh, like you know similarities between sociology and other subject, uh, subjects differences and complementary and i would like you know, also tell you about answer writing because you know you need to understand guys that it is 180 minutes and there will be a 20 question so let's just say one question nine minutes you really have to be mechanical and that mechanical comes once you have right once you have written out the notes after that notes have a confidence it is all right it's everything it's here on your like you know the what you think you will become definitely that what was has also said and it is true yes you need to have notes this is like you know you will see in coming videos of mine that lot many emphasis i would give on note making and then also you need to after notes revision and then answer writing thing these three things will fetch you a rank in any competitive examination guys okay so what and how you are making notes that i will discuss in some of the videos how to do a revision and what is the approach of answer writing thing so one thing i would say take a thinker of every topic and learn you know what learn that you know just for example you have taken george Zimmel. so george Zimmel, learn one or two three books and his theme okay just see the theme which he's talking about what is the theme he says what is like you know his uh, his argument and this argument should not be more than five lines because it is the race is between 150 words and 250 words so for 150 words you will get one and two page and for 250 one two three kitni bhi aapke paas information hai okay wo aap kis tarike se 150 words mein or 250 words mein likh paate ho wo matter karta hai okay so, I will tell you that sociology is a subject that you can help in every field. But it should be a systematic approach. It should be a 
ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि आपने मार्केट में जो भी नोट अवेलेबल है जितनी वीडियो अवेलेबल है जितना बुक मटेरियल अवेलेबल है उन सबको आप पढ़ रहे हैं और समझ कुछ आ नहीं रहा है और आपको लगता है कि यार ये तो मेरे लिए हेल्पफुल नहीं है तो कुछ अप्रोचेज है जो बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट रहते हैं थिंकर्स को आपने कैसे पढ़ा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन फिफ्टी वर्ड या टू पेजेस का आपके पास कोई बुक है आपको उस बुक का समरी एक पेज में करना आना चाहिए और आपके पास जब आप ये इसको बुक को रेफर करें तो आप दो लाइन में एक्सप्लेन कर दें कि एक्चुअली दिस इज व्हाट दिस थिंकर इज सेइंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक क्योंकि आपको 250 250 वर्ड वर्ड में और वर्ड में और ही अपने आंसर को शो करना है तो आप प्लेटो की रिपब्लिक अगर आप बोल रहे हैं या इमरल का एज ऑफ रीजन के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं या एरिस्टोटल की आप एंथ्रोपोलॉजी के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं या कार मार्केस्टो के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं आप या प्रोटेस्टेंट एथिक ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म की बात कर रहे हैं या आप सिग्न फ्रेंड का ओरिजिन ऑफ रिलीजन की बात कर रहे हैं एलिमेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ रिलीजियस लाइफ ऑफ इमाइल्डर का आपको एक लाइन में उनको समझाना है ओके okay? जैसे कि कार्ल मार्क्स का कहना है कार्ल मार्क्स की प्यूरी थ्योरी ही यही है कि समाज में लड़ाई है लड़ाई किस चीज की है क्लैश ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मेरा और आपका इंटरेस्ट अलग है तो एक का इंटरेस्ट क्या है डोमिनेटिंग है एक जो है कार्ल मार्क्स का कहना है कि वो सुपीरियर है वो सुपीरियर क्यों है क्योंकि उसके पास लैंड है प्राइवेट ओनर है वो किसी लैंड का और उस ओनर में ये लोग काम करते हैं तो जब आप काम कर रहे हैं आप अपनी लेबर सेल कर रहे हैं और इसके वजह से वो आपको यू नो हेल्प करता है पैसे देता है आप उनके ऊपर डिपेंडेंट हो जाते हैं और एक्सप्लोइटेटिव नेचर तो कार मार्क्स की थ्योरी आपको सिर्फ और सिर्फ दो तीन लाइन में बोलना है और एक वर्ड में बोला जाए तो क्या है इट्स अ कंफ्लिक्ट एक कम है दैट इज कंफ्लिक्ट यही पूरी थ्योरी है कार मार्क्स की कि यहाँ पे इंटरेस्ट डिफरेंट है और जो लोग कहते हैं यू नो इक्वालिटी इक्वालिटी इज़ मिथ ऐसा कोई समाज ही नहीं हो सकता जो कि इक्वल हो तो दिस इज़ व्हाट आई से एंड वन थिंग यू शुड सी द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सो फॉर एग्जांपल वन क्वेश्चन विच एक्चुअली कम इन 2021 इन यूपीएससी फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ ग्रोइंग इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनिटी हाउ डू यू रिलेट सोशोलॉजी टू अदर सोशल साइंसेस ये ही एक्चुअली चाहिए यूपीएससी को क्रैक करने के लिए तो ये क्वेश्चन शो करता है रेलिवेंस को आपको इस टॉपिक पे कैसे पढ़ना है दूसरा क्वेश्चन 2017 में आया अब आप इसका पैटर्न देखिए और एक बहुत ही फेमस फिलोसोफर रहे हैं जो हमारे यहाँ आते थे और काफी उनका लेक्चर हमने सुना है अपने कॉलेज टाइम में कि नेवर डाउट पैटर्न पैटर्न को समझने की कोशिश करिए और प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन जो है आपको पैटर्न ही समझाता है डिस्कस द चेंजिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ डिसिप्लिन ऑफ सोशोलॉजी विद अदर सोशल साइंसेस 2017 में ये क्वेश्चन पूछा गया और यहाँ पे भी 21 में पूछा गया आपसे पूछा जा रहा है कि आप अपना व्यू पॉइंट दीजिए कि आजकल जो इंटर और मल्टी इसका मतलब क्या होता है कि आप सोशोलॉजी को पॉलिटिकल साइंस से रिलेट कर रहे हैं इकोनॉमिक से रिलेटेड कर रिलेट कर रहे हैं आप रिलीजन से रिलेट कर रहे हैं आप सोशल मैरिज फैमिली के इंस्टीट्यूशन से रिलेट कर रहे हैं आप स्टेट के आप इसको जोड़ के समझ रहे हैं तो आपको कैसा लगता है कि सोशोलॉजी सोशल साइंसेस से कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है सोशोलॉजी कुछ रेलिवेंट है भी कि नहीं दूसरा क्वेश्चन आप देखो 2017 में डिस्कस द चेंजिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ डिसिप्लिन ऑफ सोशोलॉजी विद अदर सोशल साइंसेस तो सोशोलॉजी का इक्वेशन दूसरे सोशल साइंसेस से कैसे डिफरेंट है यहाँ पे ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जा रहा है अब 2013 में इट वॉज सोशोलॉजी एंड एंथ्रोपोलॉजी कंपेयर एंड कंट्रास्ट एंड इट इज नाउ सोशोलॉजी विद हिस्ट्री तो दिस इज वॉट आई वुड से दैट यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड I mean, in coming lectures we are going to discuss on the syllabus. But yes, this is the orientation to the subject sociology. And in coming days, I will make and try to make a good, concise videos on uh, the syllabus of UPSC, which is going to be helpful in other uh, competitive examinations. For example, NET ka or bhi dusre competitive examination hai. Usse bhi I'll try to show that kitna relevant hai ye subject. So thank you so much. And now I am going and ending this class. Thank you so much. Thank you.